such. So what happens now? When will more people be able to benefit from a, percent, a potential procedure in the future? Joining us now is Dr. Bio Curry Winchell. She is a board certified family medicine physician, also an urgent care medical director. Doctor, thank you for being here. Thank you. What is your first reaction to this? So, you know, as they mentioned, this really is a game changer. When I see patients, I have patients who have been waiting for years to really be able to have an organ. And so the fact that we could provide options, more options available so people can, you know, have longer life or um, just quality of life is huge. So this is a game changer and I'm excited about the direction we are moving towards. Yeah, and help us understand, I mean, it is not just first come first serve and people waiting on these lists. There are people who are deemed not good bets uh, to, to put human organs in as well, right? And I mean, there are a lot of people who um, are really fighting the clock when it comes to this. Absolutely. We have people who are deemed ineligible. And so that can be due to a variety of factors. It could be due to other health conditions, maybe not able to tolerate the medications that they would need to have to get an organ. So the ability to have, you know, more choices, more availability by using animals, it's it's huge. And so this will allow those on the ineligible uh, list to become eligible and that saves lives. You know, we've heard about pigs and um, bovine heart valves potentially in the past, other parts. How is this different? Why is it significant? And also uh, why pigs? I know it was genetically modified, but why pigs? So, you know, with the testing, we've been able to see, especially with pigs, that there's the ability to really have xenotransplant and transplant that organ into the human body. And so why this is different in the past, we've only seen the organs last for a couple of days, as well as with this case, what's different is it was really able to survive without any modifications beyond just one, um, one part. And so in the past, we've really had other new devices, other things that have allowed it to survive. But now we're seeing organs survive in humans in a new way. So this is a huge difference from what we saw before. You know, and I am struck by the family um, who went through a tragedy and a loss of their own, and they decided to donate their loved one to science. His body received that kidney. How big of a help, how big of a deal uh, is the actions of this family? It's huge. You know, we often talk about how one life can save many lives. And this is a huge, this is an example of it. And so the fact that this family allowed, you know, the passing technically with this patient being brain dead to help others through science and research, it allows his memory to live beyond. And so I'm hopeful that more um, people can think about doing this because it's about really having that long lasting impression so we can help more people through science. So it's huge. Dr. Biocree Winchell, appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.